Today we're creating some incredible UI parallax animations in Figma. We'll be checking out three incredible methods of doing really cool parallax and each method has its plus and minuses. So check out all three methods. Now for the first method, I pull up Figma and I've already drawn out a basic frame right here. For this first method, we will be using a illustration pack uh, by one of the community members. It's called Scenic Background Illustrations. And they have incredible illustrations with a different level of parallax sort of a different level of layering done to it. So as you can see, there are elements in the foreground like this. There's some stuff in the background happening as well. So you need illustrations like this. Again, you can pick any illustration, but make sure you layer them properly foreground, background, mid ground, just to create more depth. Now for this example, we'll be picking up forest sunset, which is I really like, you can pick any one of these, but forest sunset is what I like. I'll be picking up foreground, mid ground, background and sky. So all four of these layers, I'm going to be copying all four of these layers into our parallax window right here. Now that I've copied it, I make sure that it's kind of the same size as the frame right here, but enough so that it covers all the areas like this. So it feels like in, it's in the middle. Awesome, cool. I'll also adjust some of these trees so that something can be placed behind this and still be somewhat visible as well. Now I'm gonna place some text in the middle of these trees. So how do I do that? I quickly bring up the text tool. I'm gonna type in parallax animation for this one. And uh, I'll make sure that this is in two lines. Now, once we have this centered properly, on the left, you have all these layers. Make sure for this example, you are setting the parallax animation behind most of these things, at least the foreground to begin with. And as you can see, it's now behind the foreground. I might even try placing it behind the mid ground here. Ah, see, this seems even more immersive. It's in front of some of these trees, as you can see, but not in front of all these trees. So it's a middle ground here. Now, what I can even do is as a bonus, I can put two text layers right here and one I can place uh, in front of the mid ground. So now it's in front of these trees. So you get a little more parallax effect here. Now you can tweak this text as you wish. I would like to do like this duo tone text here, right here, which seems really cool, almost like a glass morphism thing. Now, once this is done, you can build a complete UI around it. And once I've done this, I need to do one more thing to make the magic happen. I need to make sure that any layer I don't want to animate around, I have locked. So I will select the top navigation, this, this bottom button, these black gradients that I've put here to kind of give that to kind of give a little more visibility to these elements, I will go ahead and lock it from the layers panel on the left. Or you can always go ahead, right click and, and say lock unlock. That's all you need to do. Now comes this fun part, the actual magic in motion. So I'm gonna bring up a plugin. It's a free plugin that you can get from the community. It's called Parallax, as simple as that. As you can see, just by selecting this entire frame, this is probably the easiest. Just by selecting these, it's made everything into a parallax. It's not moving anything which has been locked, like I instructed. And the best part about this is that it's smart. So it knows which layer is closer to us and which layer is further away from us, which adds to the depth. Obviously, you have a lot of options, like if you want to increase the amount of parallax, you can do that. If you want to decrease it, you can do that. So it's much slower and less parallax effect. I suggest keeping it inside because if you keep it outside, things will just be flying around everywhere. Inversion is a cool trick to make everything move in the opposite direction, as well as you can choose which direction the parallax should flow left to right top to bottom or both and you have a some and you have something called 3d so if i click on 3d it gives me this really cool 3d animation which i think is one of the best parallax 3d animations i've seen ever now the cool thing about this is once i've done with this i can export this animation either as an html file so it'll be in like a web page format an svg animation which can be introduced in applications and websites a gif which works well with figma and other tools as well or a webm video which has become very popular in today's time and of course they have something called zoom so when you scroll in and out it also zooms in and out as you can see here i'm going to zoom into this page so you can see the animation uh, happening, which I think is really, really cool. There's one method that is closest to my heart. It's called Spline Tool. And Spline Tool works so well with Figma that it doesn't even feel like we're using a third-party tool at all. So for this one, we're going to head over to Chrome. And in Chrome, we're just going to search for Spline.design. 
and it will bring up this nice little web page here. The best part is you don't have to download anything, just say open app. As you can see, my library is full of cool experiments. But for this one, I'm gonna go to the library section to pick up some really cool objects and scenes. For this one, I can select any one of these. Right now, I feel these purple 3D icons will do a really good job for what we want. As you can see, we have this nice little scene that they've built for us for now. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take advantage of this scene. So on the right of your screen, you'll be able to see this nice little section and this is where the magic will happen. So in, in the case of this little um, microphone here, we're gonna click on something called events. Now in this case, we have multiple options for creating a parallax-like animation. We have scroll. So on scroll, it will scroll with us. Uh, look at, it will face us follow so it will literally follow where the mouse is going so whatever kind of animation you're looking at this will do it for you now in this case i want it to look at me whenever i'm moving the mouse wherever i'm moving the mouse and the distance is fine for now we can always check out whether the distance is working like this just by clicking on the play button right here all we need to do is select these click on event and we'll have the look at feature right here we can always tweak the number here for each and every one of these objects. a quick tip to give it a more parallax effect with this is to increase the distance for things which are furthest and decrease the distance for things which are closest to say a title or to your other elements on screen now after i have achieved something like this what I'm gonna do is click on export. On top, you have something called the embed. This is what we want. In Figma, I'll go back and I've created this little section right here. This section, this square right here will is where we will embed the 3D. I'll make sure that the rectangle is full width for now. And once this is done, I'm gonna click on Command P, Control P, search for Anima as a plugin. Once it opens up, I'm gonna click on Embed Code. And as you can see, I've already pasted it, but you wanna paste that Embed Code right here in Anima. I'm gonna click on Save and say Preview. This will open a little preview window right here. And once that is done, as you can see, whenever I am moving around my mouse, it is moving with me. This will look even cooler if you have nice titles, nice navigation and everything. Uh, but this is one of those ways which will add more depth and parallax look or effect to your designs. So for this next one, I've essentially created this little page right here. It's called Say Hello Figma Parallax. And I've placed these nice little 3D elements on top to show you that kind of scroll animation. Now for this method, I'm gonna bring up a tool called Anima here inside Figma as a plugin. And once this loads up, you'll have to log in. Once you've logged in, you can click on this frame right here. Click on Advanced Prototype. And under Advanced Prototype, we're gonna check out Parallax Scroll. So for this one, we have to select these 3D elements. It won't really be able to detect a lot of the vector layers that you've placed. So make sure anything is either text or it's an image. Now, for this image, we'll say direction. Yes, it will move up. Scale 1.2, 1.4, anything is good for now. Delay, we can we can decrease this, 0.2. And ease in out would be a nice little flowing animation. Once this is done, I can say save. I'll do this for all of these. You can either individually do it or select all of these and add the same effect to all of them. If I scroll down like this, as you can see the bag, the, the fire, the pickaxe on the top is moving with this. I think this is really cool. The benefit of this method is that you can quickly get the code. You can export it as a live website or you can embed different things right here. Awesome. So that was it for today's video. If you did like the video, make sure you hit the thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for videos like this every single week. See you guys next time. Same place, same time. Until next time, take care. God bless.